Hi, um, I'm Norman Norres. Uh, I'm working as a PhD candidate uh, at the PAVAS project. The PAVAS project uh, stands for Paleozoic Basins. Uh, I'm working together with uh, Carita Aguson and Alejandro Escalona as uh, supervisors. And in this project, we have um, many sponsors. Uh, such as uh, Acker BP, uh, Bor Energy, Equinor, uh, Repsol, Picnic, uh, DNO, and also Wellesley Petroleum, among others. And then um, uh, also the Norwegian Offshore Directorate uh, is also part of the, of the project. And in addition, we have uh, software providers such as uh, Halliburton and CGG. Hydrocarbons have been uh, discovered in Paleozoic units uh, in the Netherlands in 1959, but there is uh, little known because it was uh, not much explored in the Norwegian continental shelf for the Paleozoic units, since the hydrocarbons have been discovered in shallower units in the, in the NCS. So the goal of this project is to get a better understanding of the tectonic sedimentary evolution and the paleogeography distribution of the Paleozoic basins and the Paleozoic units uh, within the Norwegian continental shelf. Uh, in addition, uh, I will be uh, researching on the provenance uh, for the different units of the, of the Paleozoic uh, basins. So, as um, we all know, the energy transition is uh, going through at the moment, but it still has a long journey. And the hydrocarbons will still play a role in the upcoming future. And for that, uh, it's important for us to, to explore and to understand uh, frontier fields that can be discovered. And this um, can of, uh, correlates very well with the Paleozoic units. Since the shallower fields have most of them been discovered and produced, there is uh, potential chances to explore farther towards the deeper units, uh, such as the Paleozoic units. So since there was success in uh, in UK and in the Netherlands and in Germany with Paleozoic units, um, understanding the distribution of the of the Paleozoic basins and uh, how the units are developed in uh, each of these basins could be crucial for further exploration uh, activity uh, within the Norwegian continental shelf. Um, I have started this PhD in late 2022 and I will finish by late 2025. And from this path that I have been through so far, I have learned that uh, many aspects affect the evolution of the, of the Paleozoic basins in the NCS. We know that uh, the study area is located in the triple junction between the continents of uh, Laurentia, Baltica, and Avalonia, uh, which have uh, collided in the early Paleozoic. And these, together with uh, regional structures that cross from the UK to Norway, and also volcanisms that have happened uh, during the late Paleozoic, all affect the evolution of the Paleozoic basins. So each basin has a unique uh, evolution uh, process and is affected by different aspects. And uh, with, with this uh, knowledge so far, I, can, I have been able to differentiate uh, between uh, the basins uh, in the Norwegian continental shelf and the potential age of the filling of these basins, which will be uh, important to, to create uh, a regional map for uh, further studies in the, in the area.